Hi, my name is Sean Mabry. I'm a fantasy writer, and today I wanted to talk about the stereotype that says that artists have to suffer in order to be creative. Now, this has a very long history, and I could probably do 20 episodes diving into that, so today I just want to keep this very present tense and talk about A, why this is harmful, and B, how we can, you know, especially for the young art artists in my audience, how we can avoid living out this stereotype and be happy humans while also being fulfilled artists, because that's totally possible, spoiler warning, but it is actually possible to have both. So the reason why this stereotype is so dangerous and worth calling out here is that it leads to a lot of artists, and again, especially young artists, um, either not reaching out for help when they need it, or even allowing themselves and kind of encouraging themselves to suffer in one way or another for the sake of their art. Um, and yes, this can be connected to mental illness. Um, I'm not going to dive too deeply into that because I'm, I'm no expert in that. Um, but that, you know, there's, there's a, a closely related stereotype that people with mental illness are somehow inherently more creative, which is not necessarily true, but I think it is important to remember that anyone, no matter what your neurological condition is, um, has the potential for enormous creativity, I think, and I've, I've seen in my experience. So, the thing I want to encourage you, especially you uh, young artists, to keep in mind is exactly what I said at the top, is that you can be a happy human and also a fulfilled artist. And in fact, what I've discovered through my own experience is that the more I take care of myself as a, as a human, and, you know, instead of like punishing myself to try to force myself to create something or get to something deeper, I actually do much better and a lot more work um, creatively when I take care of myself, you know, when I, when I nurture myself, when I reach out to, for help when I need it, when I take the time to have a social life, um, which I do sometimes forget to do, but it's, but it's always good when I do um, remember. And you know, that's, that's really the message I want you to, to keep in mind is that, um, you know, both, both for you personally and for your art, it's, it's a good thing to, to take care of yourself and to work through the things you need to work through. One thing that's related to this, whole, this concept, which I think actually is potentially useful for some people, not for everyone, is the idea of art as a form of therapy. Um, and that's something that actually has helped me a lot. I pretty much inevitably, it just, it just kind of pours out of me, but whatever big, tough personal question I'm dealing with at the time is almost guaranteed to show up in my writing. And the cool thing about that is that if I write consistently enough, especially if I get to the end of that particular project, it's a nice way to kind of take these feelings which are difficult and confusing and unclear, put them in context, shape them into a story, which makes sense because stories make sense, and then just put it, put it in that story box, set it aside when the project is done, and say, that's it. I get to move on with, with my life now, I get to move on to the next chapter, the new experiences to come my, in my future, and that's it. And, you know, that's a process that's very specific to me. That's something I learned through, you know, very much trial and error. Uh, but maybe that would work for you. And maybe that's, that's a, a frame of reference that could help you and is worth experimenting with. Um, and certainly there are professionals who can give you more structured guidance in art therapy if you're interested in that. Uh, but this is, I think, a good introduction for now um, just to self-care and being an artist at the same time. And uh, this, I think, will probably be another recurring topic because there's a lot to, to cover here and it's extremely important and I feel a personal duty to, to talk about this stuff because it affects people like me and it affects the people I want to reach, which is my young artists out there. So if you like this video, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. I'll be back next time.
拜。